Do you smell it? That smell, that kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells smelly? Anchovies. Hey everyone, Mark here and welcome to my kitchen. You know, I feel so bad for the anchovy. It's such a polarizing ingredient. And I mean no anchovies. But these little fillets are packed with so much flavor. They were all salty and oily and they melted in your mouth. So let's just put the jokes aside and if you're on the fence, just stick with me and this recipe. They literally melt in the sauce and give a nice mellow flavor that you're gonna love. Let's start by making a simple pan grattato, which in Italian means breadcrumbs. You can use any stale bread you like. You can use panko or regular breadcrumbs. I love sourdough, but that does not last long in our house. The story behind pan grattato goes that back in the day, some poor Italians just couldn't afford to buy Parmigiano Reggiano for their pasta or any other dishes. So they grated stale bread instead. Now it's something that can add flavor to any dish and other ingredients can be incorporated into the pan grattato and just elevate it. Let's tear up our bread. I'm using a ciabatta bun and place into a food processor and pulse to create breadcrumbs. I like to still have some texture so I don't go too fine. I like to take a rustic approach and have varying crumb sizes. This is about a cup and a half of breadcrumbs. In a pan on medium to high heat, add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and add the breadcrumbs and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper and toast until you're liking. Right before removing, add the zest of one lemon, give a toss and remove to a bowl. Next, have or quarter 250 grams of cherry tomatoes. And then finally slice or chop up two to three garlic cloves. I have two here because one is massive. And then next, finally chop up half of a sweet onion. On to our anchovies, small but mighty and deserve our attention. These are gonna help bring a nice savory and salty depth of flavor to this pasta dish. And they're rich in omega-3 fatty acids, an excellent source of protein and low in calories. And there's so much more I can say about this wonderful ingredient. So let's not hate the little anchovy and let's learn to use its flavor to elevate our recipes. I'm using five fillets and I'm gonna finely chop them up. You can use a little less depending on if you're introducing anchovies to someone. In a large pan, add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and add the garlic, the onions, and saute for a few minutes. Then we're gonna add the anchovies, and you'll see that they will just melt away. Add the cherry tomatoes, and season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. Watch with the salt because the anchovies are salty. Add some chili flakes for heat and then just cook down the tomatoes until they become soft and you'll see more of a sauce forming in the pan. While the sauce is cooking, add one pound of spaghetti to a pot of boiling salted water and we'll remove the pasta just before al dente to finish cooking in the sauce. Add a ladle of pasta water to the pan along with the pasta, mixing and tossing, adding more pasta water if needed to help form our sauce. Remember this process is called la mantecatura. Keep mixing and tossing until the pasta is coated well with the sauce and you're not left with a bunch of oil in the pan. Just before removing the pasta, I like to add just a small handful of the pan grattato and tear up about five to six fresh basil leaves. Give one last toss and mix, and then we can plate. Garnish with a handful of the pan grattato on top and bring it to the table. A simple pasta dish with simple ingredients. The anchovies bring so much umami. It's not fishy at all. Can't smell it. The anchovies melted right into the sauce. It's a nice mellow flavor, but it's a lot of flavor. So if you're still on the fence about anchovies, I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipes in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.